What's going on everyone? Hope you have a great day. So here I am back on another video. I am Surjit and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to try on another new mineable coin. It's about AIPG. The full form is the AR Power Grid. Our Raven coin fog just releases on the hashrate.no and right now is going to be the number one and the generation it's about 3.35 AIPG per 3060 card and the hash rate it's about 24.09 mega hash per second. So this is about the Kapo algorithm and also so this is as a raven coin fox so that's why hash rate and also the revenue and the power wattage utilization it's something kind of like a same so if you click on this ai power grid you can get on as a high overclock setting and also the medium overclock setting and the same overclock setting just like the kappa or the raven coin algorithm so on this here here we can see that the different mining pool server is available on there the mining for people and the art plan server pool and in this video i'm going to try on as a art plan server pool and the exchanges is listed on the non kyc but you can also get right now on the zegex so total two exchanges is right now available for the aipg and in this video i'm going to make this tutorial it's about how to create the windows wallet and also for the windows mining as well as the high voice mining so this video can be goes long so watch it out that how to create the wallet first one then i choose as a windows mining then i go to the high voice and create the flight sheet wallet and then go to the mining section that how much that i can get on this on my both 3060 card so this is the main website it's about the ai power grid io and here we can see all the related documents is provided on there so you can read all the related documents before mining so that is here we can see that the mining pool server wallet explorer and the white paper and the discord community hub is also provided on there so you can join on this discord hub and also read the white paper and if i click on the white white paper here we can see this is the related documents is provided on there and the ai power grid is just like the raven coin fork and this is just initially adopt for the proof of work as a raven coin to attract the gpu miners and right now there is some others differences and also the related documents is provided on there so you can read it on there and this is the main twitter site it's out the ai power grid right now is 1526 follower is available on that and this is the discord site it's about 2000 982 members is available and the price on the coin geeko is the 0.23 cents is available and right now is 32 percent down when it first releases on the hash dot you know it's something like one dollar per day you can achieve on the 3060 card and right now it's about 0.73 so the trending is goes down so that's why the revenue and the profitability also goes down but if you are gonna choose to mine ai power grid then this video is for you so check out that how to create the wallet so first one i goes on to the wallet section so if you click on this in here as a wallet section so you got to the github site then you need to choose as a ubuntu or the windows so i'm going for the windows and if i click on this windows version then just download it from there and you got this zip file in there so just extract on that i just extract it and get this three version the application is the three different application so you need to choose this one and just double click on that so i just double click on that and here we can see it shows that run anyway so click on that and then it's showing the ai power grid it just right now is opening on that so you need to choose as a preface so choose as a password so encrypt your wallet so you need uh, 10 or 8 characters randomly so choose any of this password whatever you like so i create my password and just type my password in there here we can see it's about the 8 to 10 words is randomly work so i choose my password in there then again my repeat my new password just i so just confirm on that and it's done so wallet is successfully set please remember your phrase just click on the ok and in here hide this section so i just click on the hide and here you can see this is done so the wallet is ready so you need to choose on this receipt section and this is your actual wallet as a windows so this is the overview section so and this is the same section that you can send your money to any exchanges and this is the transaction and on the receive section how to get the wallet so just click on the request as a payment so i just click on this request and here you can see this is the scanner and also your id your uri so choose your wallet address and just copy my wallet address from there this is my wallet address and i just copy my wallet address from there just click on that and 
and in here I just add my wallet address on my high voice so just click on the AIPG and set my wallet address and set the name as a AIPG Windows wallet and create my wallet so this is done I just refresh on that so here you can see this is my AIPG or the AI power grid Windows wallet and the second one is for the non KYC and this is done now I just close on that and now for the minor and here you can see I just select my G minor the latest version is the 3.4.3 in here here you can see the latest version is available on there so I just click on and download my G minor in here just save on that so the G minor is now downloaded and extract it on there and I choose my folder on there and right now I just select another new folder and set the name as a new folder rename G minor and extract it on there and it's done now here we can see this is extracted file is listed on there so I just spread out so you can read it well and right now here we can see the ribbon coin is available so the AIPG is not listed on here but this is for the ribbon coin fork so that's why I just copy the ribbon coin and create a, another batch file in here so I just select and copy and paste it on there and set the name as a AIPG and it's done now click on edit and in here here you can see that the algo is the same so I choose on the mining pool stream and goes on the AIPG server pool set the name in here AIPG and here we can see that the total it's about 18 server pool is available so I choose on the Rplan server pool just click on that and then choose again on the AI power grid on the left corner is on the top just click on that and click on the connect button and in here just scroll it down and choose your miner so this is for the windows miner and here we can see that four miners is available so I choose on the Z miner but you can choose any of this choose the windows and the Asia Pacific and check the SSL version and check on the solo version and this is the stratum ID that you can get on in here just copy it from there so I just copy all the things in here and then goes again on my batch file so this is the batch file and in here I just paste on this batch file and now just edit on there so this is for the couple algorithm I just selected on there and click on the edit section just I copy the same batch file and change the stratum ID and the wallet section so this is for the AIPG again click on the edit and in here that the, you can see that the batch file in here so you need to choose stratum ID and also wallet address so I just copy my wallet address from there and change my wallet address in there just I copy it from my windows wallet so this is my wallet and on the server just change this I just copy it from the rplan server pool and copy it from there and in here just change it okay and it's done so this is the batch file in here so I just save on as as the AIPG dot bat and just save so this is the total batch file on my windows mining and this is the I just save it on that and just right now double click on that and it's done the dev fee is 2% on the G miner so you can choose the TX miner for the 1% dev fee just for the testing purpose I select the G miner and it's working fine and right now just hold on that what is the hash rate I got but right now I'm get some less hash rate because I just recording and also so I don't set any overclock setting on that so you can choose the hash rate dot overclock setting just the hundred it's for the windows is the core clock and the memory clock it's about 1100 for the 3060 card it's done right now let's go on the high voice so on that here you can see this is my high voice account and I just continuously test on this different minor just like the TDX minor while and some others but right now the G minor is going to be the best because this is run smoothly and continuously mining without any issue or the crashing issue but don't set the SRB miner because right now SRB miner is going to be something like is going issue so that's why I'm not choosing the SRB miner but you can choose as a TDX miner right now I'm choosing the G miner and now go on to the wallet section in here here we can see that I just set my wallet address from that this is for the non KYC wallet or the exchange wallet and this is for the 
the windows wallet just i create in before so just add on and select your aipg windows wallet and paste your wallet address from there set the name this is for the windows wallet or my main web wallet as a aipg and create your wallet and now go to the flight sheet and on the flight sheet i click on in there but i just create another aipg is the aipg windows wallet pool choose on the configure in minor and set the name as a aipg video test and on this minor section here you can see lots of miners is available on there but you don't have to choose any of this just choose as a t-rex miner t-rex miner or choose as a g minor just i select on there but you can choose also in the srb minor but there is some crashing issue and also the server address is problem is showing in there so that's why i am not choosing the srb minor so i am choosing the g minor in there and let's on the setup config file the hash algorithm you need to select on the kappa algorithm because this is run as a kappa algorithm and this is the raven coin fox so choose wall.worker name from there and pool server i just click on this on the connect section choose g minor linux or mac os because i choose the high voice asia pacific uncheck the ssl check on the solo version and copy this stratum id from there copy in here and on the flat sheet just paste on that and delete the port from there i just copy it in here and paste the port in here password choose as a x or you can choose as a blank so i choose as a x don't set any extra argument in here just blank and the latest minor is a 3.43 and apply on changes and create the flight sheet so i already create in here so you can choose in there like a same is the aipg i power grid video test set pool configured in minor choose the z minor and this is my flat sheet i just created on there so you can copy it from there apply on changes and update my minor now let's back to the live update that what is the actual hash rate that i can get on my both 3060 card in high boys so this is the live update on high boys that my both 3060 card it's get around 46.03 mega hash v1 card is take around 22.32 and the v2 card is take around 23.32 71 mega hash however i set the same overclock setting on my both 3060 card and here you can see the overclock setting i just applied is the fan is the 70 percent core clocks is 100 and the memory clocks is 2000 and power limit is 140 but i need to set the 200 but for my overclock setting this is going to be a best for my overclock setting so that's why i choose the 100 i don't set the 200 core clock and this is the flat sheet in there that here you can see that i set the same algorithm and and also the stratum id and all the details so this is the overall things in here and the power what is stake 280 watt power consumption for my both 3060 card and this is continuously running smoothly and this is the overall update it's about that i just mining in on my highways so this is done in this video that i make this as a windows wallet and also choose as a windows mining or also in the highways so this is it in this video and the overall thing is that so if you like this informative video please like and subscribe to my channel and there is a lots of videos available on there so choose any of this video and if you think also this video is going to be helpful for you please like and subscribe to my channel that for motivated for myself that i make you more videos like this as a new mineable coin and which is going to be profitable all the details i provided you on my latest video or the upcoming videos so now wrap up in this video and have a great day i will see you in the next one